So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the MOGA controller with DOSBox Turbo. We're gonna start off by installing the MOGA Universal Driver, which is available for free on the Play Store. Let's go ahead and open that. You're gonna map your controller, sorry, you're actually gonna sync your controller via Bluetooth to the MOGA Universal Driver in the Manage Controllers section. I've already done that. Now, the MOGA Universal Driver has two different modes. The first mode is the virtual keyboard mode. That works with all Android devices. The second mode is the gamepad mode, which only works with rooted devices. We're gonna use the virtual keyboard mode for now, and I may make another video on how to use the gamepad mode at a future date. So, the virtual keyboard is selected, and you need to make sure that you've enabled the driver. When you've done that, you'll see a little green icon up at the top left hand corner that shows you that the driver is enabled and in fact connected to your MOGA controller. So let's go ahead and start up DOSBox Turbo and fire up Doom. So I've created a Doom profile here. It's just gonna launch Doom. Let's go ahead and edit that profile and take a look at the button and controller maps. So by default, DOSBox Turbo will already map the D-pad up, down, left, and right keys. And those are already mapped by default, so we don't need to change those. They're, they'll work perfectly with the MOGA controller. But we do need to add some additional button mappings if we wanna play Doom. So let's go ahead and add a button map. Click on that. Now, in order to get the hardware of the MOGA controller to interact with Android, we need to change the keyboard input settings. So if you're already in DOSBox Turbo in the custom mapping screen here, all you need to do is, sorry, click on, on the uh, text box there and you'll get a, a text widget with whatever keyboard you're currently using. In this case, I'm using hacker's keyboard. What we wanna do is change the input method to the MOGA virtual keyboard. You can do this before you enter DOSBox Turbo, but I, I forgot to do it, so I'm doing it now. So now that the input method is set for the MOGA keyboard, when I push a button on the, the MOGA, um, the hardware button should show up here. So I'm gonna map the, the X button, and what I wanna map it to is, I think it's control for fire in Doom. So we're gonna map the, the X button to control. So this button will be fire. And let's add another mapping so that we can, oops, so that we can uh, have an enter key. So I'm gonna hit the A button here on the MOGA keyboard. You'll see that it shows up there. And let's set that to enter so that we can select things from the Doom menu. So now I've got my button mappings. I've got the default button mappings, which map the up, down, left, right, and the escape key. And I also have um, these button mappings that I just added, the control and the enter key. So let's exit out of here and let's fire up Doom. So I've got Doom running. Now, if I... Go up here and select a new game. I'll push A, which is mapped to the enter key. Push it again. Now I can play Doom. And it's as simple as that. 